Um, so first of all, I'm asking uh, people uh, a personal definition of fashion. A personal definition of fashion. Um, well, I think people. Uh, fashion, fashion is for them is something for the masses. Fashion is something that anyone can have, and it makes clothes available to people. But it also, for my liking, it kind of makes things a bit boring because you lose your individu individuality. Um, when things when things become fashionable, everybody wants them. People get bored of them very quickly because. Why, why do you want to go somewhere and see 15 other people wearing the same, same outfit as you? I, I don't. I want, to go, I want to go somewhere and people go, wow, look at you. Where did you get this from? And uh, for me, that's important. You know, um, having your, having, be, being an individual, being unique. I think fashion is, is important for people because they want to fit in. And I've never been part of a group. That, that, that wants to fit in. I've always been part of a group that wants to be outside that. Uh, outside that. And when you're at school, uh, you want to be part. You you want to be part of the kids, the, the bad kids. You want to fit in, you know, and you want to be a rebel, and uh, you want to try and fit in because you don't want to be an outsider. Because if you're an outsider, people don't like you, uh, you know. And um, but then, in the 80s, you had lots. You had lots of different things. You had goths. You had punks. You had mods. You had rockers your rockabillies and there was a definite you had a definite uniform that, that told you who you were that told other people who you were now that's all and and, and your, what you wore dictated what music what music you 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 mainly listen to now that's all lost because kids of today listen to everything and uh, the importance of music and fashion is gone um, there, there are certain types of music, like hip hop, has its own kind of kind of fashion. But the main, but main, main mainstream, you don't have. Uh, you see kids like 17, 18. They don't. They're wearing a mixture. It's a little bit punk, a little bit goth, a little bit this, and it's all mixed because all the music festivals now are just all mixed together. All music festivals. It's all kinds of music in one, and so the fashion is all kind of mi mixed in together. So there's no. You can't. Unless you look at someone like myself, you can say, "Ah, oh, I can see where his fashion com comes yeah. from," or my friends they say, oh, "Well, this is '60s, this is '50s," you know, and and people live their life by it. The music they listen to, the clothes they wear, the, the clubs they go to, but they still li might listen to other music. But the music there that influences their life is what controls what they wear and what they, you know, your whole being. You know, it's um, and that's being and that's lost. That's lost to a lot of people. They don't under they don't understand it. Is this linked to the concept of style? You were distinguish uh, the idea of fashion and style. Yeah, What's I mean, Yves, Yves Saint Laurent once said, um, "Fashions will fade, but style is eternal," and it's true. Something that is stylish a hundred years ago will still be stylish today. Um, something that was fashionable a hundred years ago won't be fashionable today. Um, you know, and that's the difference between fashion and style. Fashion, fashions come and go, and women, women's fashions, they're constantly changing like this. Men's fashion is only just, as really, only, um, in the 60s we had, we had men's fashion, then it kind, of, it, it kind of fizzled away, but now it's coming back again. They have men's fashion week, you know, whereas before it was always, fashion was always centered around women, uh, because it was considered you know, you were a bit effeminate. If you were a man, you cared about your appearance and, 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 and wore fine clothes. Yes, you had tailor-made clothes, but they were very set to a standard. You know, you wore this, you wore this, and you wore this. And if you wore something else, people would look at you and go, oh, you're a bit strange, <laughs> you know. <laughs> a bit too colorful for my liking, <laughs> you know. But um, men are learning, learning how to dress again because certain programs on TV, like um, Mad Men and, and other things, have taught men the beauty of wearing suits and now you get a lot more men who who want to dress in suits and there's what we call new school the new school of dressing is very 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 slim and uh slim jackets short slim trousers low uh thin tie which can can look good if you have a slim figure on the right person but when you see somebody who's a little bit chubby and obviously their girlfriend has told them oh wear this you look really cool and they put it on and they think and they're going around with their mates going yeah but your belly's are like sticking out like this and your bum's out here it's like it doesn't look cool but your friends don't want to hurt your feelings so they don't tell you you know me I, i'm honest with people I, you know yeah, okay 
I, if someone comes into my shop, I say to, I, I tell people, I say, look, this is my business. I'm not on a commission here. So if something isn't right for you, I'll, I'll tell you. I said, no, that's okay. not right for you. Okay. That's what I pride myself on, my honesty. Okay. And, it, and if something works, I don't, need, I don't need to tell the person. They can see it for themselves. I say, look, I don't need to do a hard sell. I let the clothes sell themselves. And uh, nine times out of 10, they do. You know, I'd rather a person doesn't buy something and wants to come back and then comes back and buys three things rather than goes away with one thing and all their friends go, where did you buy that horrible thing from? Don't go back there again. <laughs> it's not good for business, but you know. Okay. And what would you suggest to people to find that style? Je well, find one thing you like and then accessorize it. Sometimes with vintage, you can just take one piece, a jacket or a shirt or a pair of shoes, and then you, you build around it. Uh, I'm, 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 I pride myself on, I've been, so I've been told I'm a very good judge of character. And if somebody comes in, I'll be able to say, oh, hang on a second, I've got something that might, that might work for you and pull something else. And then they go, oh, I'm not sure. I said, try it and see. Always be daring, you know, ex ex experiment. And, and don't be afraid to kind of go for things that you wouldn't necessarily uh, want or, or you did, wouldn't think about because sometimes you can be very um, surprised you know things that you think oh no I couldn't wear that so I did that to a Swedish guy once he said I can't wear brown I said why not he said no 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 brown is not my color and I said okay try this on and it was a brown shirt he put it on he stood in front of the mirror he said I'm gonna, I'll take it I'll buy it and he said how did you how did you know I said trust me I'm, I'm, I'm very good he said you have yeah I said you have dark you have dark hair you have it's the color is gonna but you're so kind of reminded of, of horrible brown in the 1970s. People go, oh, no, no, brown, 70s, oh, you can't go there. So it depends on the shade of brown. Chocolate brown, great. You know, what I call shit brown, no, don't go there. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it is hard. Finding your own style is, is, is hard. And you can't, if you've, if you've got style, it comes like that. You can't, you can't give someone style. They have, to have, they have to have it themselves. You can make someone look stylish, but... Um, they will always need need to be dressed. Someone who's someone who's got who's got it like that. Just it comes without thinking, you know. And do you think that clique uh, comes naturally?